people. So this morning, it is 6.20, Saturday morning. We've had a lot of rain. As you can see, there is debris everywhere in the water. We're at Kerr Lake today, gonna do some crappy fishing. We plan to come down today. Uh, been raining all week, water's up about 10 feet. And we're gonna target some vertical structure this morning around these bridge pilings and uh, maybe some floating docks, depending on what's going on. Kind of having to take our time because there's a lot of debris in the water. And uh, there's a big debris pile up there. So hopefully all this high water has uh, kept the uh, fishermen off this vertical structure. And uh, we've got some minnows with us. We're gonna try a couple of different methods. So hey, stay with us and let's go catch a fish. Okay, well that's, that's... P back there. Good gracious of life, what a crappy. Monster crappy. I just put it down. <laughs> Good gracious, what a crappy. Oh, oh, don't let him fall over. Good gracious, what a crappy. Oh. He's, well, he's gonna they do that. You need to look in the fish before you stick your finger in it. Good. As they say, snakes are hitting the fish in your mouth. Have you heard that? Good day. That's a nice crap. You go, Miss P. I just put it in the water. <laughs> I need a rag. You go, Miss P. Get a rag. What a mercy. I need some water. Good day. Let me get her another minnow. Yeah. All right, folks, you see Miss P is, uh, she's fishing with that slip cork, and I'm just vertical jigging with no cork or anything on this 10-foot rod here of mine. And so I'm having to feel for the bite. The, uh, the cork gives you the opportunity to actually see the bite that way. Wind up a little bit of your slack. P? Miss P got one. Ooh, goodness. Hold on, hold on. Let me dip it. Let me dip it. Let me dip it. That's a white bass. I hear you. A white bass. Man, I don't know what a white bass is. He, he doing one around the, he one around the pole, ain't he? Good day. Yeah, old white bass. I thought it was a big crappie. I did too, wait. It's on the Got me all excited. Yeah. The P got another fish. Boom, another crappy. Boom, he swallowed it too. Oh boy, that's a big crappy right there. Y'all, that is a nice, nice crappy, y'all. Oh, that is a nice crappy, y'all. Bit that minnow. Boom. Boom. Look at that crappy, y'all. 13 and a half inch crappy. Ooh, doggy. That rascal bit so easy. Take a look at him. Yes, sir, that is a nice crappy. Boom. On the old minnow. Now this is my this is my live bait. Uh, so the number number two hook minnow. And I just got one split shot on it to keep it down. We've been marking fish about 10 feet, and I can take this rod 
that puts that minnow at the bottom of that rod. I hope you can see that. So I could just lay it right out on that 10 feet rod. Now, if I put the tip of that rod, put the tip of the rod right down next to the water, that should put me about 10 feet deep. Fish around that pile. Well, better be ready. See, I think he's got it. He's got it. Miss P's got it. Let's swing him back this way. Oh, that's another nice crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good day, what a crap. Good day, what a crap. Look at that crappy, y'all. Miss P done caught. Good God Almighty. <laughs> hey y'all, Miss Pete putting it on me today. I gotta tighten up. Good gracious, what a slap. Right there, y'all. Ooh, wee. Boom. Wow. So it seems like we fished a lot of pillows today. Uh, bridge pilings, vertical structure. And uh, it seems to be that these crampy are not in a chasing mode. Mood. And I have been vertical jigging and being successful at that, just holding that lure still. And uh, I've been getting bit that way, and we've caught a few on the minnows. But uh, you can see I put a loop in this. And uh, of course, that's an eighth ounce head. I may change and go to a sixteenth. It's a little bit heavy. Uh, crap it down about 10 feet. We've been catching them 8 to 10 feet of waters where I've been marking them. Anyway, hey, let's go back and catch a fish. All right, Mr. P with a good crappy back there. You need the pliers? Yeah, you can All right, another good crappy right there. Now he come on a minute, y'all. Minnows is out fishing the jigs today. So, so folks, real quick. So we using um, this. This split shot's a little bit big for what we're doing, but anyway. Uh, so we fishing live bait on the slip cork, and uh, number two gold hook, bone number two gold hook. And approximately 12 to 14 inches of line. Then we have our sinker. This one's a little bit big, but anyway, we have this slip cork here. And of course, go ahead and flip your bell. And uh, this is our stop here. And about 10 feet up is our barber stop now you know usually you have the string one that you slide on the line i tried one a little bit different i've got this one where you weave the line in and out and it seems this is the first time i've tried it it seems to work really well and they're fairly easy to slide see how easy that slides sometimes those string ones don't slide real easy but ordered them off of amazon i put the link on there and uh I like them. They go on a reel really well to slide through the eyes. So uh, give them a try. See how you like them. Anyway, all right, we can wind that up. And so since we got some minnows, fishing with minnows today, and uh, if you've not ever fished with minnows, I like to hook my minnow on the bottom of the lip right up through the head boom there it is right there okay got miss p back in the water and fishing is it a nice one Fill in some little one yeah a little one a little one Need a new minnow? <clears throat> All 
All right, I'm gonna get Miss P a new minnow. Maybe. Look, that's just laying in the water. There's little ones. All right, well, let's see who's. Mm. This thing's almost 14 inches. That's a good crappy. Almost 14 inches. Okay. Boom. So, hey guys, if you're still with me on the video, let me give you a recap of the day. Uh, I think we kept 10 really nice crappies. And uh, th we caught a bunch of small ones. We threw all those back. And uh, it was a tough day. Major portion of the lake is really red with fresh, fresh muddy water. Water's high, a lot of debris. You've seen that in the video. And uh, we managed to find some vertical structure that had some nice crappies on. And uh, we caught those and uh, the crappies pulled off. I did catch some vertical jigging, some jigs, and uh, even some curly tails that I was uh, vertical jigging. They seemed like they wanted a slower presentation today for some reason. Now I caught a bunch of small crappies actually cast into vertical structure and moving it back. But for the most part, they wanted that lure steel and not moving a lot. So most of the fish we caught was on minnows. When Miss P caught that big one on a minnow, of course, I made a switch and start fishing minnows because that's what we were catching the nice fish on. And uh, hey guys, I hope you saw something you learned in the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, you remember, it's a wildlife and I'll see you on the water.